Hi, welcome to lesson 3. Today we are going to look at how to manage your campaign settings. Campaign settings play an important role in managing any Google AdWords account. How, how do you, so let's start by seeing how to edit the settings. What you can do, there is two options. First, you can just tick the box which is provided here and then click on edit settings and this will take you to the settings for that particular campaign as you can see flat screen TV the other way which you can do it is once you enter the campaign like let's click on flat screen TV Google automatically provides you with a edit campaign settings button here all you have to do is click it once we click this button you can see again we're taken to the same page so what does the page consist of well first we have basic settings here you have the name of your campaign the start date the end date you can have no end date or you can decide like if you want if you're doing for example a seasonal campaign maybe you can just uh, put a specific date when to end your campaign then you have the budget options here you can see you look at what how much you want to spend per day as well you can check if this budget is sufficient for the keywords that you have selected by pressing pressing on this button here which says view recommended budget as you can see Google says either this budget is okay or this budget is not okay we recommend this so that's very good after this you have the delivery method there are two options here now the first option is standard standard delivery method is as you can see show ads evenly over time what that means is if we have 10 pounds what google will try and do is show the ads evenly over the day so it wouldn't go and show you ads all the time for example if somebody clicks once in an hour it will uh, then stop showing you ads for a bit until they can separate the budget properly so it will actually spread the budget over the day so your ads in this type of option which is standard they wouldn't show all the time they will show only sometimes when the uh, google decides that this is possible also there is an accelerate option uh, here google doesn't take your budget in regard but instead it just uh, shows you ads until your budget is completely depleted now let's have a look the next section is advanced options here you can select keyword bidding there are three different types of um, keyword bidding options as you can see at the moment we're using the max cpc bidding uh, we are gonna have a look uh, a bit later what the, those options are in order to edit them you have to click on the button view and edit bidding options ad scheduling is another useful tool which google provides what ad scheduling does is there is two types first is basic mode and advanced mode in basic mode you basically determine the days and the uh, times which you are uh, you you want your ads to be running in advanced mode you not only determine the times but you also determine the bids so you can bid at a certain percentage for example if you know that the majority of your clients come in the morning maybe you can bid at 120 percent of your budget in order to beat the competition if you know that um, uh, there is not so much clients and they're not worth as much in the afternoon you can bid for example at 80 percent of your budget so you can alter the budget depending on the time now the next option is position preferences what this does is it allows you to set position preferences for your keywords so what you have to do is tick the box if you want that and then when you go in your ad group uh, and go to the keywords tab you can then edit the keywords and select a specific position which you want your ads to appear maybe it's one to three or five to eight depending on where you want them to appear ad serving what ad serving is uh, 
it allows you to decide how to show your ads. The, the first way, which is optimize, this is what, what happens here is depending on the click through rate and conversions, Google will determine which is the best performing ad and then it will uh, run only this advert. The second method which is rotate is much better because uh, it's good for split testing. What happens here, for example, if you have five, six adverts, they will rotate constantly, so you'll never get one ad getting the most impressions. So this is very good for split testing. If you want to see uh, which of all the ads would perform the best, I recommend to use the rotate option. On the right hand side you can see there are two more panels. Networks, here uh, obviously you can select which uh, networks to be included in. There is Google search, which is actually the Google as a search engine. And search network, which is like AOL, Ask, another search engine which are partners of Google. There is content network. Content network is basically people who have opted their websites uh, to display Google advertising through the AdSense program. I usually do not use this because um, this is much less targeted uh, than the Google search network obviously. So I untick it but if you want content network all you have to do is click and uh, the same for the others if you just want content network you untick those. It's very simple. Also here you, c you have an option for content bits. This is a very useful thing if you're doing content advertising, maybe you're doing image ads or uh, animation ads. What you, what you can do is uh, select the bit that you want, especially for the content network. So what will happen then is uh, you will not only have a CPC bit, but you also have a content bit and that gives you more flexibility and control over your campaigns. Next is target audience. We have already covered this section in uh, our previous lesson too. You have the language settings which you can select easily and also you can edit the countries and territory settings very easily again by pressing the edit button.